CIET-NCERT presents Curriculum Based Series Dhwani Shala. So let's join in Dhwani Shala Class 7. English Language Lesson Class 7 The first lesson Three questions from the book Honeycomb Understanding the Text and Vocabulary. Hello learners of class 7. Welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. How do you feel today? Hope things are fine with you. This is the first lesson. Learners, let's dialogue, discuss and sometimes quarrel to learn English language and learn to communicate in English. Well, learners, with me is Sirat, a student like you. Today we will do the first lesson, the three questions. Let me welcome Sirat and you students here and of course all of you learners there in all in your home, in school, everywhere. Sirat? Yes sir. Oh, so I asked them how they feel, how do you feel? I feel very happy and great to have an opportunity to come to class 7th. Very good, fine. Okay, now learners and Sirat. I am going to ask you a question. Uh, you may have you, many, many questions may, may be arising in your mind. So just tell me one big question which has been lingering in your mind, means which has been in your mind for long, learners. So what is that question? It may be a big thing. If the question you may want to ask your parents, but you have not asked, uh, then uh, our teachers or even God. What is that question you want to ask people? The question is, when I see the lights, I ask them, how do they work? Which one? The Li lights. Li light, huh? Yes, Okay, sir. it is electricity. It's a science, science, science question. You have to ask the question to science teacher. He will tell you how light was invented or discovered, then how it's useful. You know, today we can't imagine a world without uh, electricity and light. A oh, very good question. Okay, this question can, can be answered by scientist and your physics teacher? Definitely. Say yes or no. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Okay. Let me ask you, learners, answer it. A troublesome question or troubling question to you. Have you ever told a lie? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Learners, just think of uh, this. Have you ever told a lie? And we have been saying telling lie is not good. Okay. And it's a bad thing. It's, it's a kind of uh, uh, not so good thing. Uh, it makes you a bad person, not good person. But all of us may have told a lie for fun's sake or some trivial, pur small purposes or big purposes. So these are all troubling questions. You have an answer, but you may not be able to say it openly or there's no answer to this. Yes, sir. Learners, uh, we know that uh, this question is troubling, uh, but Please remember, telling lie is not good for anything, not, not only for you and others. Okay, learners, here is a story. You know that the title of the story is Three Questions. So, here is a king. He has some very troubling three questions, which may appear to be very simple, but, but very difficult. So, let me tell you the three questions first before we go into uh, the lesson seriously. Uh, what is the right time to do something? What is the right time to begin something? Which people should he listen to? What are the most important things for him to do? So I'm not going to ask you as a student of class 7 to answer. There are big questions in some way. Uh, and also very small questions applies to everybody. But uh, the king has these questions and he could not find answers with uh, his own people minister. So he goes to someone. So this is the... Uh, story learners we are going to learn but before we move on to the story seriously let me read out the objectives of the lesson okay can i ask you to read out okay at the end of the lesson learners we will be able to read a variety of texts in english and identify main in ideas characters sequence of ideas and in events and relate relates with his or her personal experiences. 
respond to variety of questions on familiar and familiar texts verbally and in writing use appropriate words to reuse meanings for clues in context while reading a variety of texts okay use appropriate words to deduce meanings from clues in context while reading a variety of texts speak in english using appropriate expressions and ideas okay learners though it's a radio lesson you have read the lesson or you will be reading the lesson the purpose of this lesson is read and understand the text so and we will learn some new vocabulary words and phrases uh, from the text okay now we know that we should know the lesson very well so i hope you have read it and you will be reading it let us tell you the story in uh, turn i will read out uh, one point and sirath will uh, read out another point okay let me begin learners once there was a king who had three questions in his mind he wished to know the answers to the questions to be a successful ruler the three questions are one what is the right time to begin something two which people should he listen to three what are the most important things for him to do learners he had three questions he wanted to know the answers so what he did was the king sent his messengers throughout his kingdom to find answers for his, for these questions the king was not satisfied with the answer so he decided to seek the advice of a hermit okay having received so much uh, responses he was not happy so he wanted to seek the advice of a hermit hermit is one who lives alone in kind of jungles or uh, out of the city or uh, kingdom then he visited the hermit in the jungle the hermit listened to the king but did not speak a word and went on digging he was digging the ground for something hmm. the king continued digging the ground till evening the king asked the hermit whether he can help so then king also continued digging the ground as he was digging a man came running towards the hermit and the king with a hand on his wounded stomach the king cleaned the wound and dressed it twice to control the flow of blood the man was severely wounded so the blood was oozing out so they nursed wounded man and helped helping him to take rest in the morning when the king woke up he saw the wounded man was touching his feet and seeking his forgiveness the king went to look for the hermit who was sowing seeds in the beds that day had dug the day before okay the uh, the the king tried to find where the hermit was the hermit was sowing seeds in the on the ground that they had dug the day before the king begged the hermit to answer his questions the hermit replied that the king has already been answered the hermit said that the most important time is now the most important person at the that particular moment is we ourselves now king has got his answers sirath and learners there the time important time is now what was the time the a, 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 a man a man came with his wounded uh, wounds stomach. in his stomach that was the right time to serve the most important person per, persons Ourself. at the time were was The, ourselves uh, ourselves that the king the, the wounded man and the hermit and what is the most important thing to do the most important thing to do is good for others oh, yes good to others come on the king is now satisfied and he started back to his place come on learners the sum- this is the summary let's now do uh, sirath some challenge for you as well as um, the learners there i'm going to ask you some multiple choice questions and some true or false let us begin with uh, true or false questions uh, here are some statements which are uh, the f- taken from the story some of them are true some of them are false you will have to say true or false come on sirat ready yes sir fine learners ready the king had three questions in his mind true true fine the queen asked the king the three questions false false okay king's first question was 
what is the right time to begin things true true okay the king found answers to his questions from his ministers false no huh? the his, uh, ministers said no no you ask for a ma- magician to answer when you read the story you will find out the king went to the hermit on his own to find answers to his questions true true fine the king got the answers to his three questions when he met him for the first time false false fine because the the hermit never answered him till the end the hermit did not answer the questions immediately true the king knew the man who came with the wound in his stomach was his enemy false false okay the king never got answers to his questions from the hermit till the end true he never got his answers till the end no he huh? got his answers but he was not satisfied okay no no the king never got his answers from from the hermit till the end yes yes true yeah, yeah? no i'm reading out again listen to it carefully the king never got answers to his questions from the hermit till the end he got at the end you know he got at the so end so it's true fine the king got answers to his three questions at last from the hermit true true fine then as these are the 10 questions which will make you understand the lesson better so when you read and listen to it again so uh, thank you uh, sirath and the learners there for having answered the questions true false now i am going to ask you slightly uh, difficult thing this is a um, multiple choice question ready yes sir ready fine come on i will i'll read at the question and followed by four four responses you'll have to pick up the best one okay yes sir why did the king want to know the answers to his three questions let me read out the four options you can pick up the best one he thought that that this these three questions were important to the citizens of his kingdom he thought that he would never fail if he knew answers to these three questions someone asked him the three questions the questions appeared in his dreams i choose to hmm. he thought that he would never fail if he knew the answer to the three questions for the benefit of learners let me read the question and repeat the uh, options uh, because uh, there are four you, you may not remember Why did the king want to know the answers to his three questions? He thought that these were important questions to the citizens of his kingdom. He thought that he would never fail if he knew answers to the questions. Someone asked him the three questions. The questions appeared in his dreams. 2. He thought that he would never fail if he knew the answers to the three questions. Fine. Come on learners, second question. Sirath, why was the king advised to go to the magicians? The ministers advised him to go to the magicians. Only magicians could know the right time, the right person, the right thing to do because they can do wonders. Magicians know everything and change people. Magicians will not listen to anyone. Magicians are like gods. First one. Only magicians could know the right time, the right person and the right thing to do because they can wonders. They can do wonders. Do wonders. Let me repeat. Why was the king advised to go to the magicians? Only magicians could know the right time, the right person, the right thing to do because they can do wonders. Then the magicians know everything and change people. Magicians will not listen to uh, anyone. Magicians are like gods. Come on, Sirath. First one. Only magicians could know the right time. the right person and the right thing to do because they can do wonders fine third question why did the king decide to go to a hermit first option he knew a hermit can answer his questions two nobody was able to answer his three questions three he thought that even the hermit would not answer his questions four the king knew the answers but wanted to check it with the hermit Come on, Sirath. First one, he knew the hermit who can answer his questions. Fine. Okay, let me re- repeat for the benefit of learners there. Why did the king decide to go to a hermit? First, he knew a hermit who can answer these questions. Two, nobody was able to answer his three questions. 
he thought that even a hermit would not answer his questions for the king knew the answers but wanted to check it with a hermit one hmm. he knew a hermit who can answer his questions fine he thought that this particular hermit will answer his questions yes so fourth question learners and sirath why did not the hermit answer the questions to the king first first option because he did not know the answers second option he knew the answers but wanted the king to do the work for him three the hermit wanted the king to find answers himself through an experience the hermit wanted someone to come and tell the king the answers three hmm. the hermit wanted the king to find the answers himself through experience fine good good well done so let me say it for the learners again why did not the hermit answer the three questions of the king first because he did not know the answers he knew the answers but wanted the king to do the work for him the hermit wanted the king to find the answers himself through an experience the hermit wanted someone to come and tell the king the answers so third one the hermit wanted the king to find the answers himself through the experience very good now fifth question the man who came with a wound in his stomach e a one plan to kill the king to king's soldier or the hermit's disciple or king's friend one hmm. plan to kill the king okay so let me uh, say again the man who came with a wound in his stomach one plan to kill the king king's soldier hermit's disciple king's friend the man who came with a wound in his stomach was planned to kill the king the man who came with a wound in his stomach planned to kill the king okay fine this is how uh, we may understand the story learners there's a problem uh, when you read a story you may encounter some problem sirat uh, you feel that uh, i don't know uh, meaning of the many words fine it's quite natural because Uh, you need not know everything you read learners let me tell you some some ideas how you can read pick up a story read and if you do not know meaning of some words forget it for time being you should know the uh, story meaning of the story that means you must understand the story itself nothing else so learners read reread the story then required you can consult the dictionary fine okay. Yes sir that's good so now uh, for the benefit of learners we, we will sum- uh, summarize the story again fine yes. all right yes sir learners we have done two activities but let, let's also listen to it again then followed by let's do some speaking activity sirat will demonstrate to you and you can also do it come on now we are going to tell the summary of the story again okay let me begin three questions once there was a king who had three questions in his mind he wished to know the answers to the questions to be a successful ruler the three questions are what is the right time to begin something which people should he listen to what are the most important thing for him to do fine learners three questions which arose in his mind are what is the right time to begin something which people should he listen to what are the most important things for him to do as a king the king sent his messengers throughout his kingdom to find answers to his questions the king was not satisfied with the answer so he decided to seek the advice of a hermit he visited the hermit in the jungle the hermit listened to the king carefully patiently but did not speak a word he was digging the he continued to dig the ground he was digging the king continued digging the ground till evening the king uh, offered to help the hermit then he continued when he was digging a man came running towards the hermit uh, he was wounded in the stomach uh, and he just came to the king the king cleaned the wound and dressed it twice to control the flow of blood and the man was put to rest for some time in the morning 
When the king woke up, he saw the wounded man touching his feet and seeking his forgiveness. The king went to look for the hermit who was sowing seeds in the bed they had dug before. The man in the wound with the wound sought forgiveness from the king because he plotted to kill him. The king begged the hermit to answer his questions and the hermit replied that the king has already been answered. Fine. The hermit said the most important time is now. The most important person at that particular moment was they themselves we ourselves the most important thing to do is to do good to others okay learners we also have got answers to the three questions what is the right time to do the right time to do is uh, is now now the most important person is uh, ourselves or the people around us mm. or the most important thing to do is good to others okay. learners remember three things first is what the is the right time? time this is the right time means now suppose uh, teachers tell you parents tell you uh, now you do something you say i'll do it later no so read uh, every day's lesson the same day do the work then and there as as required then most important people so i i will i will grow up and i will do this so let us let us be kind to people help people our, our siblings brothers sisters parents grandparents and neighborhood so that is the people to serve and the best thing to do important thing to do is doing good to others this is what our religions our philosophers our leaders uh, nation build our nation builders like mahatma gandhi they taught us let's act on time I means then and there and serve the people around you help the people around you then do good things only in life yes sir okay fine uh, learners let me also uh, tell you something about the author of the uh, story um, sirat you know who the author is hmm? author is the famous russian writer tolstoy Leo Tolstoy. Leo Tolstoy. Uh, so you must have seen many of his stories. He he his stories um, actually uh, imbibe the value of peace. Why people have to live in peace? So there was one great story. Um, there is one great story. Um, God sees the truth but waits. So how pa- patiently a person who has been wronged waits and forgives his enemy, his, his people who wronged him. So. You may go to a website or you may see lots of books by Leo Tolstoy short stories you may read them uh, to understand better uh, how a uh, short story is written and how the values of the short story okay now sirat yes uh, sir any idea you have you understood the story fine yes sir so you also now know uh, what is the right thing to do right time to do okay yes, and sir. right people to serve now i'm going to put you into a serious task learners uh, imagine you are the king and describe your experiences from the moment that those three questions came into your mind and how you got the answers so you may say it in first person how you say in the first person first person how you say i uh, three questions uh, arose in my mind occurred in my mind i asked people when my ministers people around so come on learners take some 10 15 seconds think sirat come on tell your uh, learners and tell me uh, and the whole group so you have to say that in i first person i had three questions in my mind that occurred me every day and i asked that uh, everyone my ministers to un- uh, to spread the, uh, this news that who one uh, uh, answers my questions will have a big sum of money as a reward so i decided to just go to them and have the answers of my questions so they all answered differently and i was not satisfied with them i was not happy with them so i went to a hermit that i knew he was a wise man so i went to the hermit and he was digging beds and he was very weak and very weak and old so i decided to work instead of him and dig the beds 
to help him so i decided that this and i asked the hermit can i just dig the beds for you and he said that uh, you can so i started digging while i was digging i saw a man coming to me and who was wounded severely in his stomach wounded okay. wounded severely in his stomach and was coming to me so i dressed him and with twice and the blood wasn't flowing frequently so it wasn't stopping so after the third dressing it stopped and then i uh, he drank some water and then we proceeded him to sleep on the hermit's hut in the hermit's hut and then i slept on the floor in the next day he was seeking forgiveness and touching my feet for forgiveness so he was the one who the wanted one to kill who, the king yeah mm-hmm. who was planned to kill the king but the bodyguard of the king who uh, I need of you you are the king yeah go ahead go so, ahead so uh, the bodyguard of my uh, and the horse both killed him severely no, in no, his no, no. wounded Short, him uh, hit se- him not he was alive no he was not killed okay Uh, so nice. mm. wounded him severely and then no. i forgave him and told him that he said that thank you you are a good king and i will spend my whole life doing all all service to you and my ch- uh, children will do the same task for you so i went to the hermit to see what he was doing and he was sowing the seeds in the bed they dug the day before So the hermit was you asked the hermit I begged hmm. the hermit to answer all my questions but the hermit was uh, saying that I was answered with all my un- uh, questions so then then I was surprised thinking hmm. I was surprised and thinking how I got the answers of all my questions so then I asked him how I got the answers for all my questions so then he said that the most important time is now the most important person at that particular moment is ourselves and the most important thing to do is good to others fine very good well done well done sirath this is how learners uh, uh, see first said something uh, and second time said see, see improved it learners that means that language requires you have to concentrate spend time do the task again first time you did writing also we have to do two three times so when you speak for the first time or when you write something then do it again to improve it come on learners thank you sirath very good job of speaking as well as all the activities of course the speaking was very good learners assume you were the first person don't bother about mistakes you commit in the beginning ultimately you will be able to speak without errors without mistakes so learners We have come to the close of this part one of the class seven English first lesson. Three questions. We will meet you in the part two. So till then, let me say bye and thank you to Sirat as well as you. Have a nice time. Keep reading and learning. Thank you very much. I uh, I also thank sir for having this wonderful time with me and teaching all of us. So friends you were just listening to the series Dhwani Shala Production assistance Minakshi Kukreti and Tanu Gupta recorded by Shanu Muksim and Vikas Sangwan produced by Vandana Arimardan This program is brought to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi India